Dr. Eric Bouchard is a retired British cardiothoracic surgeon who has spent 35 years operating on patients with mesothelioma. I had a chance to sit down with Dr. Bouchard to discuss his experience and his expertise in the treatment of mesothelioma, along with his development of the staging system used in the diagnosis of the disease. This video is divided into a series of sections on specific topics. If you have any additional questions, you can visit our website at www.mesotheliomacarecenter.com, which offers information on mesothelioma. Well, mesothelioma is a, a, a malignant tumor of the lining membrane uh, that surrounds the lung and the inside of the chest wall, uh, as we've mentioned, called the pleura. So it's, it's called malignant mesothelioma of the pleura. Uh, we do have a slide on, on the screen now, uh, which I'm pointing to, which shows that it um, develops as an irregular, lumpy thickening of this lining membrane all the way around uh, the inside of the chest cavity and eventually deposits of tumor occur on the surface of the lung as well. And if there is um, fluid there, which we call a pleural effusion, um, then parts of the effusion in the form of proteins can become deposited on the surface of the lung. That's what we call a fibrinous exudate or a rind develops on the surface of the lung which in addition to these deposits of tumor uh, further restricts the, the movement of the lung. So what happens as, as this uh, tumor grows in extent, it actually constricts the lung and um, considerably narrows the um, pleural cavity, the chest cavity on that side, becomes very uh, constricted. And I think we'll, we'll have a CT scan which shows that. Uh, in a few minutes. Um, this is a thoracoscopic view of uh, mesothelioma that uh, we're seeing on the screen at present. So in the foreground here, uh, we're seeing this diffuse lumpy tumor here. And in the distance here, we can see the collapsed lung. And on its surface is some uh, whitish material, which looks quite different from the tumor. And this is simply this uh, restrictive fibrinous exudate on the visceral pleura covering the surface of the lung. That also restricts the movement of the lung. So when we come on to talk about uh, other forms of surgery, um, we'll be talking about an operation that's called pleurectomy decortication. Pleurectomy, um, um, we will be talking about pleurectomy decortication. And that uh, is an operation which removes the parietal pleura, but also decorticates or removes the surface covering of the lung, which may be either tumor or a mixture of tumor and this fibrinous exudate, in order to get the lung fully re-expanded again. So I think it really is important to emphasize that because it, it grows in a, in a sheet-like fashion. And I, I think you can appreciate even that to some extent from this uh, photograph rather than a single lump and it, it's uh, because of that it's much more difficult to remove surgically than tumors in other parts of